Fala galera do canal, me chamo Julien, no vídeo de hoje veremos mais sobre os restaurantes brasileiros fora do Brasil é, Vieram me cobrar ultimamente para postar mais sobre esse tipo de assunto, então aqui está Mas já deixe seu like, inscreva-se no nosso canal para ajudar na divulgação e valeu! Eddie, how are you doing? Very good, hello, how are you? I'm very good, thank you very much. How do I say hello in uh, Brazilian? Bem-vindo. Rudicio and Gaucho. Okay. Where does it come from? Well, the Rudicio come from the south of Brazil, like that's where this originated. And the Gauchos, tell me about the Gauchos. It's cowboy of South America, I would say. Gaucho eat meat. We serve certified Angus. We do the top line and we do the rump steak and the beef rib. We have amazing salada bar. Very, very, I would say, tropical kind of thing, but with the Brazilian flavors. Traditional Brazilian caipirinha. Why is it such a popular drink in Brazil? As a medicine, people used to like drink a little bit for cure anything. Oh, I'm chop it like piece like this, and we put a shot and a half. You get yourself a big stick. And you throw here, and you shake. That's all. That's it. That's good. This is a really good caipirinha. It's the okay. best. I gotta do another one then. Yes. <laughs> the whole thing about a good tradicho is the experience of being served these chunks of meat on skewers. Oh, look here. Yeah, wow. Look here. That's one of my favorites. Do you ever get tired of this? Never. I try to not eat meat. I start to shake and I wake up there. It took you long. I tried being vegetarian once. I lasted until five o'clock. <laughs> Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for supporting us. These people are awesome that we're featuring. We want you to subscribe, support us, because we want to do a heck of a lot more of these. All right. That sizzle. Sorry about the mic, Paige. I just burned your mic. I'm just kidding. Okay, so we're going to hang out with Gustavo and Carla. I'm going to take this hot plate here. What's really cool, uh, northern and southern Brazil come together right here at Batuki. You like? You see that, Gustavo? No, was it, well, it wasn't bad, was it? Okay, well, Carla, let's talk about the dish Gustavo was finishing here. Yeah, we have a picanha. It's a Brazilian collat. Uh, it's uh, almanio. Is served with salted onions. Mm -hmm. uh, the side of there is rice, uh, tomato relish. Over here, so we're looking at uh, and this is, and you guys make the tomato relish in house. So yes. what do we have here now? The sides. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the rice, mm -hmm. a white rice, a pinto beans, and then uh, the yuca flour, the yeah. farofa. Wow, and all of that is a side dish that goes with almost every That's dish you correct. guys make. That's correct, yes. And then, um, that looks great. And then, over here, what do we have over here? We have our catupiry cheese bread. It's another very popular dish on the menu. So that's cheese bread. Cheese bread. Very traditional, because we had coffee this morning, and Gustavo said, you have to have this with your coffee. Yeah. It? And it's really, really good, because the cheese is on the inside. Uh-huh. It's awesome. And then you have some traditional Brazilian cocktails here. What yes. do we have? So we have the caipirinhas. It's a very traditional uh, Brazilian drink. It's served with uh, a Brazilian sugar cane rum. Okay. Very, uh, very popular in Armenia. We have the regular one, the lime, and uh -huh. the passion fruit one too. Sugar cane rum. Rum. Wow, and that's mm -hmm. very traditional in Brazil. Yes. Now, when you guys brought this here, you really wanted to bring the flavor, the sights and sounds and colors of your country, right here to uh, your Grand Falls, Denia. Yes. Why was that important? Uh, I think Chaguin Falls is a beautiful community, yeah. and I. You know, I think all, all culture in Brazil will fit really well here. Yeah. Um, well, you've been open, you've been welcomed with open arms, I should say, because the second you guys opened, like about mid-June, boom, 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 people started piling in, right? Yes, yes. 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 I think we already serve around 2,000 people <laughs> over here already. So <laughs> thank you everyone for the, for the support, really appreciate 
Yes. Well, uh, I'm sure they appreciate it, too, because I know how good the food is. So <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> awesome. There's an upstairs, too, we're going to check out when we come back. That is awesome. And, again, they're taking recipes from their mothers and grandmothers and bringing it in. Have you guys put them down yet? Have you written them down and required? Or is it still... It's still here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You guys have to write that down. I know. You have to write it down Start someplace. Start working on it. Yes. <laughs> See, they, that's how they keep everything secret. secret. All right. That's we're right. back to you guys in the studio. Delicious. Wow, look at that. We're going to end with that. How about that oh, for a money wow. shot, you guys? There you go. Então, foi como eu falei lá no início, se você gosta desse estilo de vídeo, é só colocar aqui embaixo que eu dou uma procurada e trago mais pra vocês. É, no meu Instagram também já postei vídeos sobre a culinária brasileira lá fora. Então, se você gosta sobre isso tudo, por favor, se inscreva aqui no canal e saiba que tem vários vídeos como esse aqui também. Então, se inscreva no nosso canal, deixe seu like, comente o que você achou sobre isso tudo e valeu!